we need some bags and containers. The easiest to buy in bulk is produce bag. I've got a few with me. This one is, I bought it from a shop. This one as well. It's very light and see through so you don't have to pay for the weight of your bag. And we made this one. Quite this room. I've got a special one which is very big to put oats and cold flakes in because we eat quite a lot of these in our house and so it's nice to have a huge quantity of it so we don't go to the bookstore every two days. I also reuse paper bags. We've got quite a few of them still and we use them to put greasy stuff in like uh, resins and stuff like so. If you buy cheese or meat you can take your Tupperware with you. This is an old plastic one we reuse but you can also invest in some stainless steel one. Usually the seller will tear the weight of your container and reduce the weight from uh, the total weight so you don't have to pay for your box, you just pay for the weight of your produce. And if you, like me, like olives and all the liquid stuff, you can also take these little bad boys and same thing here, the seller will deduct the weight from your jar so you only pay for the product and not for the weight of your jar. Now, I'm a granny, so I'm gonna take my trusty trolley with me. But if you don't want to take a trolley, you can just take a plain fabric bag. I love this one, it's very sturdy. Uh, but you can also take all those plastic bags, like very sturdy one from supermarkets. A little tip here, if you often go on spontaneous food shop during the week, um, I take this bag with me all the time. It's plastic, it's pathetic, but it's so lightweight and a very old one and it just folds and it's so practical and it doesn't take space in your bag at all. And if you don't have one of these you can just take your trusty old tote bag. I roll it up so it takes less space and it's quite it's quite lightweight as well. Now we need to do our grocery list. Welcome to my pantry and it's beautiful lightning. So we are here, not to mess around, but to check on things, produce, where we are at, what do we need to buy more of, what do we don't need to buy more of, this is the most important thing. So, pasta, we could do with more. Resins, okay. Basically I'm gonna go through this and see what is missing and what I need to buy more of. Another tip would be to do a list of your weekly menus so you don't buy more than you actually need. I will link up there some ideas from Madeleine Olivia. She does very beautiful videos about weekly vegan menus and if you need some inspiration definitely go check her out. mushrooms there. I didn't need too much fruit and veggies this time but basically if you need some you just shove them in your produce bags and that's it. If you need some sort of canned food, transformed food, you can buy it in glass containers because glass is 100% recyclable and it's non-toxic. Now we need to put all this in glass containers. Let's do this. So yeah, it's 
as simple as that. I hope this video inspired you to shop in bulk and don't be afraid of supermarkets because they, at least in France, they really don't mind if you have your own produce bag. It's easier if they are see through like these and this one. If you weight your own produce and you have a, a little sticky tag to put on your bag, just stick it on your produce bag and it's basically you're doing the same thing as if you were using some plastic bag, so it's really simple and easy. It's a short one for me this week. Um, I hope you liked it. Do tell me in the comments if you already shop in bulk. What was the thing you thought would be hard but wasn't in fact? If you're new around here, please subscribe, hit that bell and do follow me on Instagram for more fun. I wish you a great day and I will see you soon. Bye!